Okay, so I'm going to kind of take it from the top again here. This is a DSO 201 digital storage scope, $72 on dealextreme.com. And I currently have an o Oscope probe hooked up to it. Um, there's a battery there, a servo, a servo tester from Hobby King, and the probe tip is connected to one of the servo channels. And I'm just going to be adjusting it manually a little bit. And as I turn it, notice the servo, servo itself is uh, turning. Okay, and so let's see what's happening on the scope as I do that. Well, if I put the scope into the picture, maybe I can get them both in at the same time here. Notice that as I begin to adjust this, you can see the pulse width is changed. Let's see, let's shut off that light in there. There we go, I'm tweaking the servo tester and we can get rid of all these um, measurement display outputs by doing something like that and change time base okay to something a little more reasonable and now as I adjust the pulse width you can see it's down at about a mil millisecond minimum pulse width out to perhaps two milliseconds maximum. Now, how did I know that was two, ma two milliseconds? Well, earlier I'd set my cu cursor, the red one, to zero. And it's still there. And the white one, I had made that measurement. How did I do that? I just selected cursor two, ran it over. And then uh, notice in bloop, there it is, 2.04 milliseconds. Two milliseconds. Well, it's going from a minimum of about one millisecond out to two milliseconds. I don't think it'll display a pulse width. Let's see if we can try to get it to display a pulse width just for grins. And we hit the measure mode and see what it's got. It has a duty cycle measurement. Oh, okay. It says the, the average um, percentage of time this pulse is high relative to when it is low when it's... Uh, the one fully counterclockwise direction is about 6% out to 12%. Now that's looking at an average of, um, oops, yeah, there we, are, there we are, the time high, 2 milliseconds. And now I don't even have to adjust the cursor. As I change the pulse width, it's going to dynamically adjust to what it measures and it's measuring you know 985 microseconds as a minimum to two milliseconds as a maximum that's pretty neat measures the pulse width directly um, measurement mode oh let me get down here offset frequency out okay I'm just going to change the time base so we can get more of these guys on there so now we're looking at quite a f number of them change the measurement mode again average volts peak to peak it's measuring 5.26 volts peak to peak and um, one thing in this mode you can actually Adjust your cursor. See, notice I'm running this XY vertical cursor from 5.0 volts down, down to 
we'll bring it all the way down to zero. I don't know if you can see it. But this, this waveform goes a little bit negative, so yeah, there's zero. Minus 80 millivolts. There's 40. Anyway, it's a 5 volt or 5.2 volt signal peak to peak. And surprisingly, it's at 60 hertz. So I don't know if that's standard, really, because I don't know the receiver PPM technology there very well. But uh, next thing to do is hook this up to a real receiver, I think, and see. Some other measurement modes, RMS, um, DC and AC, the maximum voltage, about 5.21. Minimum voltage, frequency, 60 hertz. And regardless of what I do with the pulse width, there's maximum, I think. Here's minimum again. So it's still the rate of that pulse stream is at 60 hertz. All right, so much for my demo video. Okay, well, notice I've got... Um, FO position selected there. I did have. And here's my cursors. Measurement mode is in frequency. Uh, offset is F, or excuse me, OF. And as I adjust it, notice the entire peak-to-peak um, -peak display offset shifts. It's now being set to, say, minus one and 1.6 volts how about minus one volt right there <clears throat> and step it down once more to frequency out or fo and now notice i'm changing the frequency down to 200 hertz it'll drop all the way to to one one hertz i believe um, now it's one, one kilohertz um, and this, this also will adjust uh, all the way out to an output frequency of 1 megahertz. So I wanted to show you that in action. And down here, oops, let me get back here to that. Pause. Seem to speak. Now it's running, free running again. And if I step it back down to, whoop, we went right past the FL for file. Try one more time here. Frequency out. Huh, skipped right back to the top. Select menu. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why misbehaves or does some strange behavior at times but that's a little bit of how the scope behaves in a nutshell